year or two ago, we, we, were, we were asked to uh, go down and scan the Daytona Speedway. And there was actually, uh, on the Daytona 500, there was a block of pavement that popped out during the race the previous year. That's what stimulated the need to redo the track. So we were asked to go down there, and we needed to mobile scan and map everything on the surface, uh, all the way from the high wall all the way down to, to, to the bottom, uh, and everything had to be within three hundredths of a foot or, or tighter or more accurate. So that was a pretty demanding project, and uh, we went down, mobile scanned the whole speedway, uh, did all our checks and balances and processes, and then had two or three other firms come behind us and check our data to make sure it was accurate, and then everything passed with flying colors. It was an awesome project. And uh, they used that model, that three-dimensional model of what we scanned and, and, and generated to do all their design work. And so basically when it went into construction, they tore everything down to the subgrade and built the whole track back up and built it back to the same geometry that the original track was laid down back in the 50s uh, with some fixing of some areas. And so it turned out to be a very successful project, and that was a case where you can really, really get very high accurate uh, results from mobile scanning.